Hello everyone. Welcome back to Miss Meditation where we focus on yoga and meditation to help you find balance and well-being. Today we are diving into part 2 of our hip mobility series. If you haven't seen part 1 yet, I highly recommend you start there. So let's continue enhancing our hip mobility and alleviating back pain through yoga. Today we'll explore some powerful poses that will help open your hips and enhance your overall mobility. Let's begin with the yoga squat with side twist. This pose is excellent for opening the chest and improving spinal flexibility. So start in a squat position with your feet slightly wider than hip width apart. Place one hand on the ground for support. Twist your torso to one side, reaching the other hand up towards the sky. Hold the twist for a few breaths, feeling the stretch in your chest and spine. Return to the center. fold forward both of your hands and then switch sides Next, we'll go into half pigeon forward fold, which is a great follow-up from the butterfly pose. So, from a seated position, bring one leg in front of you, bend at the knee, and extend the other leg back, but also bent on the back side. So, this is literally a Z position or a Z position. Fold forward at the center, but take both of your hands first up in the sky. Fold forward at the center. allowing your forehead to rest on the ground or a yoga block if you have one gently walk back up after a few breaths lean to one side feeling the stretch in your hip and glutes You can gently walk back and use the hands or the fingers as you want to bend down. Gently return to the center and switch legs. Now let's move into the sitting forward fold and lotus pose. This pose helps in deepening the stretch in your hips and lower back. So sit with your legs crossed in a lotus position with the left toe on the right knee and the right toe on the left knee. Inhale deeply. Lengthen your spine. Exhale as you fold forward. bringing your hands and chest towards your legs move gently from top to down a couple of times maintaining a smooth flowing motion you can repeat it on the other side
Finally, we'll do the rocking balasana, or a dynamic variation of the traditional child's pose. So from a seated position, fold one leg in, and extend the other leg straight out. Hold the bent leg with the opposite hand, or with the elbows, I would say, of the opposite hand. Use your extended leg to touch the opposite toe. Creating a gentle rocking motion. So keep rocking one leg and use the other hand or the opposite hand to touch the toe of the opposite leg. Repeat on the other side, feeling the stretch in your hips and lower back. Thank you for joining me in this intermediate level hip mobility session. Remember, consistency is the key to seeing improvements in flexibility and pain relief. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more yoga and meditation content. Let me know in the comments how these poses are working for you. And feel free to share any requests for future videos. Namaste and I'll see you in the next session.